uh, create a tobacco auctioneer, and he did. He did it, Thomas D. Neal's Tobacco Warehouse, and from that point until today, you what you have heard with these tobacco auctioneers, and these guys are geniuses, uh, what you have heard, uh, what you will hear today, has been in essence since, uh, since 1866, one year after the war. There's one other individual I want to mention. Here's a man who can take this pile of tobacco that has been sold, and even though the auctioneer is up here, he can write down the price of that pile of tobacco, who bought it, and what the grade was. And his name is Mac Day. Mac, where are you? He is the pinky partner. And, and those guys, I, and this is the truth, in all my life, I really, I've never seen anyone who can talk to kids like that and, and do it without fail, without error. I don't ever remember seeing an argument about the price and the grade of the company. So that guy, while, the, while he's, this pound has been sold and the auction is all the way up here, he's still working on this ticket and this ticket and this ticket and this ticket. And he's put the price, the, the company grade, and the company that bought it. That is a miracle. The other thing, of course, is that tobacco auctioneer. And the man who made the auction, uh, auctioneer's cry really famous was a fellow who was really not a tobacco auctioneer at all. He was more of a showman than anything else. His name was Lee Aubrey Riggs from Goldsboro, North Carolina. And in 1938, he was trying to be an auctioneer. And George Watts Hill heard his chant down in Goldsboro. And he said, that sounds good. I will put him on the radio and advertise Lucky Strike cigarettes. And he put him on the radio, and he got Speed Riggs, he called himself, to do that. And it sold more Lucky Strike cigarettes in three years, as you can imagine. And the auctioneers tried to mimic the Speed Riggs, even though he was not a great auctioneer. What you're going to hear today and the finest auctioneers and buyers, ticket markers, and associates in this in this phenomenon that you could possibly imagine. Now, Pat, it's yours. All right, thank you, Billy. Appreciate that. Um, all right, we're going to introduce we're going to introduce you to the first auctioneer, Mr. Ted Stone. Is going to take us off. We're going to let him take it off for us. All right. What I'm doing, let him get in line here. All right, you get the warehouse one up here. Yes, sir. See him. We got Sid Stone in the front. Come on up here, buyers. My brother from my other mother. Okay, you ready? Hey, boss, it's a bye-bye, 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 bye-bye,
Mayor now to say. This is going to be the next auctioneer, Mr. Alan Todd. Boy, it's been a long time. Good to see y'all over here. Y'all ready for a sale? Mr. Warehouse, it's up to you. Thank you. 